Friday, September 1st, 1939, 6 a.m. A university student assists at morning mass in Krakow's Wawel Cathedral. Poland has suffered invasions before, but the nightmare to come lies beyond the imagining of all who have worshipped here for centuries. The student's thoughts turn toward his ailing father, alone at home. World War II has begun. Forged by the fires of war and the subsequent brutalities of the communist regime, that student, Karol Wojtyła, from Poland, becomes Pope John Paul II, one of the world's great defenders of religious freedom and human rights, preaching the power of the word over the power of the sword. He is a major catalyst in the non-violent collapse of communism. John Paul II has been seen by more people than any other human being. His appeal and charisma reach beyond the billion members of his flock. Yet this pope remains one of the most controversial figures of our times. A revolutionary thinker rooted in ancient religious traditions, he is both revered and vilified. He is a man of many faces, poet, playwright, actor, philosopher, mystic, pastor. Above all, John Paul II describes himself as a witness to hope. 